Hi everyone, it's Rebecca Davison, Intuitive Coach and Mentor. Welcome back to the second video on the three top blocks to developing your intuition. So the second block that I want to talk about today, which has a huge component for a lot of people, and this is it. What if my intuition tells me something that I don't want to hear? Right, another question. And this is really scary, right? Like Because I think it's important to realize that your intuition is always wanting you to live the life of your dreams. It wants you to experience freedom, pleasure, abundance, expansion. It wants you to live fully from your soul and your soul is limitless. So this can be a little bit scary, right? If we're living in scarcity or lack or fear or doubt, to bridge the gap, to step into that place where we're experiencing essentially all our dreams coming true, it can feel like um, it's removed from us or it can feel like it's not possible for us or that there is possible for other people and maybe not us, right? And this all comes back down to our underlying beliefs about whether we're good enough or not. But I want to ask you this question, where in your life right now are you experiencing limitation? You know, limitation can show up as a contracted energy, a feeling of wanting to break free, or maybe you're feeling stuck, or maybe you're in a job that you don't love, or your relationship's not really panning out the way that you'd like it to. You know, anywhere there's a feeling of not getting what it is that you really, really want. Right? And we don't have to go far often to find out whereabouts in our life that is. So the beautiful thing about intuition is realizing that your intuition is not guiding you to show you where you're doing life wrong. Your intuition is to help you to step into the highest version of yourself. So when we have this slightly different perception and we can understand that our intuition is our guide, it's our ally, right? It's on our team. It has our back, right? It's always working in our highest and best interests. And I want you to think about this, right? Being nice versus telling the truth, right? Your intuition is going to tell you the truth because being nice sometimes can keep you stuck, right? In the energy of a certain status quo. Like the truth cuts through a lot of BS, right? So your intuition is total truth. It's total alignment with truth. So yes, sometimes your intuition will tell you, hey, this job's not working out for you. Or hey, you're not doing your sole purpose. Or hey, did you realize that there's more available to you? And sometimes when we come up against that, it can feel a little bit scary. But the good news is, right, developing our intuition is a journey. And if we can kind of have a different perception that intuition's not kind of beating us up or telling us that we're doing our life wrong, it is wanting to guide us into a place where we know the truth and we can make decisions from the highest version of ourselves. Because when we do, we're going to get amazing results. So what's the remedy in regards to what if my intuition tells me something I don't want to hear? Is to go, well, let's listen to see what it would say and let's notice what it would take for me to step up and to have the courage to face any fears or any limitation that I'm experiencing in my life right now so I can experience more so I can experience freedom and to step away from the ego and the ego saying well that's right or that's wrong or I can't leave for this relationship or this job it's not about that it's more about noticing the energy Right? And if your soul is calling you to experience more, then what does that look like? What would that feel like? How could you bring in more love, more light, more fun, more pleasure into your current circumstance? Right, Softly, softly, gently, gently. So we can move into knowing ourselves on a deeper level and therefore experiencing more of what it is that we really want. So the second biggest block, right, is what if my intuition tells me something I don't want to hear? It's probably a good chance already that your intuition is showing you where you're experiencing limitation. It's that little voice that's always whispering to you and kind of poking you or prodding you or whispering to you and saying, hey, you know, there's more, right? You know, once upon a time in my life, I remember thinking, is this it? Right? And the universe responded in kind and was like, definitely like, there is absolutely more. You know, you're limitless being in a body. There is limitlessly um, more available to you. 
Alrighty, so the second biggest block to melt away, right, is what if my intuition tells me something I don't want to hear. The truth is, at the end of the day, you can handle it, and it's to put you in alignment with truth so you can move forward with ease and grace. When you know the truth, it's easy to take an action step forward. Alrighty, so thanks so much for joining me today. I'll look forward to connecting with you again tomorrow so we can tune in and find out that third biggest block in regards to developing your intuition and how it could be holding you back, quite literally, from you living your dream life. So I'll look forward to talking to you then. Bye for now.